Hi buddies, it's Miss Haas in the art room and I'm here to give you an optional, totally optional drawing activity for our first week, the week of November 30th. Today is Monday, November 30th. We are going virtual today, which means the art room is going virtual too. I'll be posting one activity a week for lower grade levels, one through two, and upper grade levels, three through five. For today, this video is for my younger grades, my friends in first and second grade. I was thinking this morning on the way to work that it's suddenly gotten a little bit colder, and uh, I was thinking about some of my favorite winter art lessons that are quick and easy. Uh, and one of my favorites is about winter gear, right? Everybody should get bundled up. Hopefully everybody's got something nice to wear in the winter. So I was gonna draw with you some lovely winter mittens and I'll even show you some ones that my students have drawn in the past. This is a student from an old school called Eduardo. Oops, there's the bell. <laughs> and here's one from a student called Dante from my, my school at IPS last year and Dante drew this lovely mitten and colored in all the outside space and I think it looks nice but I wish that Dante had thought about having two mittens because otherwise one of his hands would get cold. So if you think that the mittens look too easy for you uh, and it's a great place to review our types of line that we practiced in first and second grade art this year, if you think that looks too easy, you might aspire at the end to draw more than just mittens, to add a hat or some earmuffs or gloves, maybe design a set or maybe you have a set. So at the end of this video, I will leave this image up and then you can pause it and try the steps if you want to make more than one type of winter gear rather than just a pair of mittens. But we will do the pair of mittens together. So if you're ready, pause. Make sure you have a pencil and a paper. If you don't have a pencil, that's okay. When you're ready, press play. All you need is something to write with and a piece of paper. Okay, here we go. I've got my paper here on a clipboard. I'm gonna be using a marker because I want you to be able to see the lines. And sometimes pencil lines don't show up that well on camera. For the mitten, I am going to draw a short horizontal line, one up here. And then I'm gonna do, feel free to pause anytime you need. And then I'm gonna do like a lowercase j shape right here, or an uppercase j shape actually. A curved line that's short and goes up, over, and comes back down, <clears throat> excuse me, to this horizontal line here. And that's gonna be where the thumb is for the mitten. Can you picture it? From the small part of this hook-shaped line, this J-shaped line, I'm going to be making a tall rainbow-shaped line, a big, tall, curved line that's going to meet over here on the other side of my mitten. Ready? Feel free to pause if you ever need to. I'm going up and over and down until I meet this line right here. That's my first mitten. Now, it's really important if you're wearing mittens or gloves to know which side the thumb goes on. When we're drawing the next one, we're gonna have to reverse that line and flip it over so that we have a matched set instead of two of the same type of hand, because that would be silly and it wouldn't do anybody any good. So we're gonna do the same steps, just this time all our curves will go this way, okay? I'm gonna draw a horizontal line here. Horizontal lines go left and right, remember? And then I'm gonna make that J curve. Ready? Here we go. It's the thumb and it meets this side of the mitten this time. Now I'm ready to complete my mitten by drawing a large rainbow curve line. Oops, I made one bigger than the other. Should I cry and throw it away? Nope, it's fine. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna decorate. If I had an eraser and I were very stressed out about it, I could go back and erase but this is not so bad for me. I don't mind having one bigger than the other. Now I'm gonna add uh, some lines for elastic and I'm gonna add some different types of lines for decoration. And I'm gonna do a little uh, background work here too. 
Uh, so for the wrist elastic, the elastic that keeps your mitten on nice and tight or your gloves on nice and tight, or even my hat on nice and tight, uh, I'm gonna add a, a second line here, kind of like turn this into a rectangle. And then the elastic is normally some short vertical lines that help it stretch around your hand where it needs to be big to go over your hand and then cinch in tight so that it doesn't fall off your wrist. Now in the olden days, and maybe even some today, people used to have a little string that they could attach their mittens together so they wouldn't get lost. So I'm gonna do that just for fun. Make that a very wiggly line. Uh, but yours could turn out completely different or you could draw a bow or you could draw anything. So now I've got some space to decorate. I'm gonna put some, oh, I'm gonna practice my snowflakes over here. I'll do a plus with a multiplication sign through it, or uh, if you prefer, a plus with an X, a couple of, maybe you know a better way. Maybe you like writing a circle around your snowflakes. Maybe you like writing a circle on the end of all your snowflakes. There's a lot of different ways my students like to draw snow. So pick a few that are right for you in the extra space here, unless you're saving some room for a hat and a scarf. Uh, or maybe this one's just a practice and you'd like to try drawing your real winter gear after this. Either way, we're going to finish it up with some lines. I'm just going to practice my, remember these, zigzag, dash, you can do any order you want, wavy, loop-de-loop, -loop, like the string that connects my mittens, uh, straight. What else do we have? The really hard one. Oh, I know. Castle. It goes over, up, over, down, 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 over. And then we can repeat or you can invent some different lines. Sometimes students like to do a line of shapes that repeat. So here's a line of just hearts. Like I said, you get to come up with your own. And if you do, I hope that we can get these pictures onto the class canvas page so you can show your artwork off to some other students. And I'll be working on that today. I got a lot to learn. I can't wait. The last time I went virtual, we did everything on Zoom. Uh, so I'm new to Canvas and I'm gonna be practicing my best with it, just like you buddies are practicing at home and doing your best with it. Ah, ran out of room for little hearts up there. Oh well. So, I've got my winter mittens and they would look lovely colored in together, wouldn't they? And uh, just for fun so I don't get out of the habit, I'll write my name. And I know that some of my friends in first and second grade really like to write how old they are when they draw their pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and write age 37. <laughs> anyway, my friends, like I said, everything looks better in color. And if you'd like to challenge yourself to draw some more varieties of winter gear, not just the mittens, but maybe also a hat, scarf, and earmuffs, I'm going to leave these steps up for you so that if you pause your screen, you can follow along. There's that mitten again, uh, but this time instead of starting at the bottom, I started with the curves first. Maybe you like to start at the bottom better since you've practiced. The hat is very easy. It's almost identical to the mitten, just no thumb, and then I put a fun pom-pom. Scarf is easy too. The tricky part is keeping the lines the same width apart as they curve so that it doesn't get super skinny at one end and super wide at another. Happy drawing. I'll see you next time.